Hello Pythons. So you want to make your own Discord bot with Python. You just came to the right place. Because in today's video, I'll walk you through step by step, to build your own bot, even if you're not good at coding. And this bot performs multiple functions. Like, welcome new members to the server. Role reaction, and add the user to the role member. Moderation, and chat with your bot. You can even filter words, and prevent users from sending inappropriate language, and so much more. So make sure to follow along with me. So I'm gonna start from the basics. I'll create a brand new account on Discord, and you will see, how I'll set up the roles and permissions. Then, I will make a multi-purpose Discord bot, and host it for free in front of you, so you can see the whole process how it works. Once you create your Discord account, and your Discord server. Go to the server settings, then roles. As you can see, we only have the at everyone default role. What I like to do here, is turn off all the permissions, because I don't want everyone to have the access, to see everything in our Discord, so later, I will only make them able to see very specific things, like our welcome and rules channels. Now, I will create a new role for our members, I will name it, test members, not test role as it show, cause I will change it later. Then, I will give it the green color, and turn on this feature to display role members separately from online members. Also, I will add one more role. I will name it, owner, which is me. So I will give myself the blue color, and turn on that feature too. Make sure to put the owner role, above all the roles, since Discord the way it works, the owner role has the ability to manage the roles beneath it. Next step, I will create a new category, I will name it for instance, start here. Then, I will create two channels. The first one is, the welcome channel, and the second one is, the rules channel. Now let's edit the category that we just created. Go to the permissions section, and turn on these permissions. View channels, create invite, and read message history. So these permissions will be automatically applied on the both channels. But, I will only add one more permission, to the rules channel, which is add reactions, so the user can react in order to join the test members. Move on to the next category, text channels. In this section, you should add the test members role, to this category. And enable some permissions to your members, like view channels, send messages, use emojis, and whatever you like to allow to your members to do, it's up to you. Before moving to the next step, let me add some few channels. I will create for example, memes channel, and tech channel. Now you can say, you set up all the roles, and the permissions in your server. Let's start filling some stuffs. Type your welcome message here. And add the rules you want to apply on your server. So basically, I'm telling users to react with a green check mark, to join our test members role. Now you're almost set up everything you need. And don't forget to enable the developer mode feature. So once you're done with the basic setup, let's create our first Discord bot. You need first to create a new application, on Discord developer portal, I will leave the link on the description below. Name this application. And click on the option bot, from the list on the left side. Now, add a bot. And after naming it, Copy the token for further use. Also, you need to enable privileged gateway intents, cause your bot need to access privileged intents. Now, we need to create an invite link for our app. Check the bot option. And give your bot the permission as administrator. Scroll down a little. Copy the given URL. And open it in a new tab. Select your server, and click on Authorize. And congrats, we were able to create our Discord bot successfully. For the next move is, coding our Discord bot. And no coding skills required to make this bot. To make things easier for you, I've made this multi-purpose Discord bot, which has many features. So make sure to give it a star, I will appreciate it. In order to use this bot, click on code, 
Then download zip. Extract the files, and open the folder. The first thing you need to do is, install the requirements. So go to the path of this folder, and type cmd. Then type this following command. pip install, dash r, requirements.txt, so all the libraries needed, will be installed at once. After that, type code dot, and our text editor will open, I'm using Visual Studio Code, you can use the one you prefer. So this is our Python file, it is bunch of code here, and it's well documented, so you can know what each function does. But I'm going to show you, how to use it step by step. So in order to run this bot, it's so simple. All you have to do is, go back to Discord Developer Portal, and copy the token value, that we have talked about before. And you can place it here within the program. But it's not safe, because this token shouldn't be shared with anyone. So what I prefer to do is, create an env file. Then create a variable, and paste your token here. Our second step is prefix. Prefix is basically a method, that allows you to order your bot to do specific things, for instance, since I set the prefix for the commands as dollar sign, if I want to kick, or ban, or clear messages, I should always start my command with dollar sign. And you're going to see what I mean later. But for more clarity, I will change the dollar sign, to dot slash. So in this section is about role reaction. We need to add the name of the channel, where we set up our rules. In my case, my channel name is rules, but without any emoji. For this function, it will be called, when a reaction is added to a message. I'm using the checkmark emoji, as my prefer reaction, but you can use the one you prefer. And don't forget to add here the name of your member's role. Move on to the next section. So this is about welcome new members to the server, it's already set up for you. If you want, you can change the message content, and for this one, is a basic command to chat with your bot. I will change the name to hi, and whenever I say, dot dash hi, the bot will reply with, hello there. In the on message function, if the message sent by the user, contains a word from the list banned words, the message is deleted, and a warning is sent to the user, to refrain them from sending using such words again. So we need to create a text file, and name it words blacklist. So here you can add any words you want to prevent users from sending them. I'll write for example Python. And those are the commands that we have talked about. Like clear, ban, and unban, and so on. We will test them soon. For the last section, if you want to add a word to the blacklist. No need to get into the text file, and add it. You can simply use this basic function, I show you later how to do it, stay with me. Now, let's try our bot how it will perform. In order to run this bot, go back to your CMD, and type python ppi underscore bot dot pi. And as you can see, the bot is ready to use. So to test this bot, I'll log in with my main account, and join the server. As you can see, once I joined, I received a welcome message. Great, now we need to join the test member's role, by reacting with a green checkmark. And nothing happened because, we need to make sure that our test bot, is above the test members. Now let's try again. Cool, it works perfectly without any issues. Also, I received a new message from the bot, telling me that I have joined the test member's role. Now, let's type some commands to our bot. For example we can say, dot dash, hi. The bot will reply with hello there. And if we type, dot dash, help, he will reply with a help guide, and list all the available commands. Let's type python, and see what will happen. The bot delete our message and warn us, cause it's a banned word. Just play around with the commands, and you will get everything. Let's move on to the most exciting section. Host our Discord bot, and for free, no need to pay anything. 
So we will be using Discloud, my best hosting provider. If you go to the pricing page, you can see the free plan, it costs $0. But it's only support one bot, which is fine for us, because we have multi-purpose Discord bot. Also, their customer service is so great, you can ask them about anything, and they will help you out. So in order to get our bot hosted, click on Login. Then click Authorize. If you go back to your Discord account, you can see the Discloud server. First we will go to this channel. And type .help. Then you will receive a message about all the Discloud commands, that will help you to host your bot. But before that, go to the folder to where your bot is. Select all the necessary files. And compress them into zip file as it's shown. Back to Discord, go to the previous channel. And type, dot, up. The bot will ask about your application ID, so copy the ID of your bot, and send it. Then you need to type, the name of your app main file. In our case, it's ppi underscore bot dot pi. Then enter the number of RAM memory in megabyte, that you want to put in your application. I will put 100 megabyte. After that, upload your zip file. Now we have done all the steps needed to host our bot. Let's check it out. And congrats, as you can see we were able to host our bot successfully, without paying any single bucks. If we test the bot, you can literally see it's working without any problem. Before we finish the video, make sure to join our Discord server, cause I will be more active there, and you can ask about anything you want. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button, and I'll appreciate it more if you subscribe as well. See you next time guys.